Hello, I'm Mike Kreider, Principal of Southwestern Randolph Middle School, and this message is being sent to my students in grades six through eight. It's also for any other student who happens to see this through any form whatsoever. I've been trying to think for a while now what I could say to you that hasn't already been said. I hope you know by now that we, the adults of the school, miss you a lot and we think about you, we worry about you, and we still care about you. We hope that you are staying safe and that you are taking social distancing seriously. However, we also hope that you are finding ways to stay sane during this time of crisis. We hope that you're giving your best effort on assignments, either through Canvas or working through paper packets, but also hope that you're taking this unprecedented opportunity to stay safe as a family unit and doing your best to stay active. But I think I know what I really want to say today, and I already had an idea in my head until I saw a TV advertisement this morning uh, that just used the message, it's okay. It is okay for you to be angry at times that you are not getting the chance to perform in band, play basketball, play baseball, soccer, go to the beach, or even go to the mall. It's okay for you to be disappointed about not getting an in-person recognition assembly at the end of the school year. It's acceptable to feel sad for friends or family members that are seniors and are being deprived of those last memories of high school, as well as for college seniors who never really got the chance to experience closure of receiving their degrees. It is not required of you to be happy all the time about the current situation we are going through as a society. As a matter of fact, one of the main issues with societal problems is that there's a feeling that because everyone is experiencing something, it is unacceptable to voice negativity about that problem and its effect on your life. However, that removes the individual experience from what we are living through, and I am reminding you, as your principal still, that your thoughts and feelings are your individual experiences and are equally important as everyone else's. The challenge is maintaining perspective when these feelings exist and not putting them ahead of what others are feeling at the time. That is how we coexist, care for each other, and still maintain our highest levels of mental health. So what do you do when you feel angry, sad, disappointed, or confused? Talk to someone. It doesn't matter who, as long as that person values your feelings. If you do better, like I do, as someone who likes to write their feelings instead of talking about them, start a journal or a private blog and document how you felt on certain days. Some folks even express feelings or emotions by painting or drawing, something that I was always terrible at. That is equally a wonderful opportunity to express emotion. If you have no one to talk to, pick up the phone and call me at school. I'll never get upset with you if you need to talk to me to be honest about something you are feeling. I can't promise I'll know exactly what to say, but I promise I will listen. Send me or one of our awesome staff members at our school an email, whether you choose to vent or you want to let us know that you want to call us sometime. I would like to close my message to you with this. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the famous astrophysicist and host of Star Talk on the National Geographic Channel, was once asked what gives him peace as he studies the expanding universe around us that seemingly goes on forever. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, everything that exists in our universe is made up of essentially four elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon. And yet, each one of us on planet Earth is made up of those same elements. So even though we are just one small part of the universe, we are all made up of the same elements which makes us an important part of it. All of us are going through this crisis together remotely, but we all still have individual experiences that we need to process, share, and deal with. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and know that Southwestern Randolph Middle School continues to care about you and root for you every step of the way. We hope to see you tomorrow at Packet Pickup. Thank you.